There are nine young people going in this course and they picked the most challenging thing that was on offer. Is it one of these bags? Right, get your swing bag rolled up first. The course is an adventure and wilderness course from um, an uninhabited island for nine days with a two, three day survival element in it, which is very tough. See if it didn't work this time, I'm going fucking aim. Some of them have come away with very little from the educational system. That can mean that they've thrown away letters from the courts, from housing departments. They've only picked up the bits they understand and left the rest. I'm a youth worker and I've had contact with this group for nearly a year. George is also a youth worker with the project and has known these young people for a number of years. Could you just stop for a minute? Come on, Alyssa, give me a shot. Remember when you went to the management committee? We had a discussion about the alcohol thing. Yes. Right, well, we just need to remind you about that. So what was said at the management committee about alcohol? I wouldn't say then, because I wasn't there. Well, what's that target? That's what I was important. We'll go through it again then, because there was... I was there. You were there. Like, why well, agreed not to talk alcohol? Why well, like, did? Oh, on the porch. Oh, someone's getting a punch when I go outside. Right, what were the reasons for that? Because you could suck. cause accidents for one. You could get sucked and it's against the law because some of us are underage. Uh, well, we could have had a drink on the bus going down. <laughs> well, you'd be sober by the time you get there. Yeah. No, the way we drink, we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working there for four years. It's called Huckle making. Full staves, wee pins. It's better than nothing. Paddy's the only one in the group with a real job. The rest are on YTS, and they're unemployed, or one of them is at school. If I got offered a full-time job, I'd take any full-time job for the money. Totally skint now. They've got to love half my mum. And on the mid is one of the older schemes. It had a reputation for a long time as being quite a deprived area. I get £54 data on the brew once a fortnight. But after you've paid your board money, and you're usually in a lot of debt by then, you're only left with a couple of pounds, so you kind of live on it. You get classes of layabout and And then he just stormed in like and pinned us to my stairs. But he ran into your house? Ah, and just yeah. pinned us to the stairs and started punching in it. I saw my wee brother Michael at the door. Uh -huh getting a bit upset, so he ran up and got my dad, and my dad came down. My dad was laying on the ground, and he was over the tap, and like that, so I picked yeah. up the, the brick, and 
ran across and yeah. hurt him. Yet, when when the chap was assaulting your dad, was it was it quite serious as, as far as you could see? That's, well, I just saw him over the tap. He was I mean, punching he could, him? No, he, it was like he was a water punch yeah. him, like, yeah. and death thought that you, you had punched him and yeah. your dad was on the ground. I mean, in this case, it looks to me, from what you've told me so far, that it's a, a fairly good defence you've got to the case. Some of them have been in trouble with the police. It has been fights or stealing on occasion. Though some of them haven't been in trouble at all or for ages. Oh, you've only got your old man's board to play. I'm old man's board them. I'm only another four pound. I used to get loads of trouble. Stealing, breaking in at places. No, recently. Been out of trouble for about a year or so. Burn is a strain that runs through the McCraigie estate, a stretch of waste ground where most of the young people hang about. And that's why we've took the name of the Bernie Mob. I'll give you one girl in a minute. Come here. Did Jimmy say he was coming along? He was coming along after me. Huh? Some she was telling us about a West Coast adventure. <laughs> Be hard work, if you could hack it or no. Uh, anything's better than staying in Dundee. They're a really great group to go away with. They've got qualities and resources that they either don't realise they've got or they take for granted. We're hoping in this different setting that those qualities will become new and apparent in the way that they just aren't day to day. Welcome to the West Coast Adventure Course. I'm sure some of you haven't really much idea about what it's like uh, living out here. It's a lot different from the city. But we've got a great crew of uh, instructors gathered down there, wearing a bit thin at this end of the year. <laughs> if I could introduce you to Pete Lamont, Graham, who's the rock climbing instructor. Louise will be uh, our logistics officer. Dave, next one in line there, knows every inch of the island. The fellas, just one or two things. If you could just concentrate for one moment, I know the midges are getting to you. Rules. There aren't a great many rules here. By the end of the week, you want, we want you to be leading us, and we'll get through all sorts of stuff. The weather's going to be wild. That doesn't matter. Makes it better. I mean, really, we could be in Patagonia or anywhere in the world just now in some deserted place. All we've got is ourselves and that kit that came in with us. The boat's gone. We're going to get our security from each other. Come on, I'm saving myself, man. Whoa. Whoa, man. Well done. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> get your head back. Yes, you can. Untie it from your head first. Oh, right. your head up as well, that's it. You get that over. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's fine. Oh, no fuck problem. that fat boss. He's not that heavy. One of the things about adventure yeah. is that you don't actually know what's going to be happening. So this next nine days, we just sort of let go a little bit and, and see what happens. It's no good coming over to here, coming on, making all the effort to come on the island and do things you can do back uh, in Dundee. So we want to, the best thing to do is to go for a really hard expedition at the end, something which you always remember. But what really is important, and I think you'll agree as we discuss this more as we go on, is how you as individuals contribute to the group. In the long run, when, it, when the chips really are down, it's uh, the actual people and what they do in terms of cheering others up, helping them, and, and that sort of thing, which, which really matters. Well, I've got 
First day I walked around the island, up and down steep hills for miles. I've never done walking like that in my life. It was knackered. We ended up in this cave, but we stayed overnight. Made with tea. How many miles was that? Well, we can work that out. We can look at, we can get through the map, look at all the, the mistakes we made and the good things we did, and we can learn from that, and that can be put towards the expedition. What the fuck, shot? Oh, shit, your boss, it looks good to me. It looks good to me, anyway. Huh? Put me in that, eh? Edible? Yeah. An edible, alright. Nice, yeah. 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 He's after what? stirring that, isn't it? Tell you, That's fucking ridiculous. Such my teeth. See, no one thought me him, man. I get better. Oh, get some fire with them fucking oh, freezing. I'm freezing, I'm not. Oh, fucking garbage. I've not had so much garbage in my life. You'll get some more grub on, man. If we were shocked by the language, um, or allowed ourselves to be shocked, then it, the whole thing would be a waste of time. I recognise in their language the fact that it's the stuff that they've been brought up with and they use every day, all day, and in fact, they're not using it maliciously. <laughs> Fine! Let's go! Get him! <laughs> Come on! Hey, hey, hey! Ah, you bastard! Oh, I don't need for fuck's sake! <laughs> that was good, well done. I am bothered. Well done. Who oh, didn't shout forward? Ian Gallagher. Ian. Oh, Ian, you should be listening to the star. You are like star. You're on number five now, Stephen. <laughs> I'm not going on it. Go number five. Let's get this thing off, is he? Oh, oh, oh. You're looking well for it. Charlie, number, number two. How can I listen? Number two, I'll shout forward. Thank you. Buddy, Let's go! Boy! Nice! Come on! Let's kill you! Oh, I'm <laughs> done! Right, T6! Go! Long, though, I'm not, Our job was to link the first phase, which was skills training, to a situation where they took far more responsibility for their actions and for the development of the group. This is your modern kitchen where <laughs> for the next exercise. A lot of things to do with W.